Hello, John Call here. Well, we didn't do a report last week because we don't think you want us to manufacture news, and there hasn't been any news to, uh, to report. There are now, by the time you're watching this, 12 days left until the constitutional deadline, at which point this session will come to an end. They're still light years away from uh, an agreement on a tax bill, a bonding bill, and supplemental bill. Uh, Peg will describe in some detail what's going on with that. They're, they're meeting at least and talking about that. Uh, transportation bill still looks like it's miles away. Um, they announced today that they're going to have targets on Thursday. They, they should have had, and I don't, I don't believe it because <laughs> That's kind of a wish right now. They're still so, so far apart on what they think ought to be done. I can't really believe that's going to happen. But they should have had targets about two weeks ago, actually, if they wanted to bring this legislature to a conclusion in a timely fashion. So we'll have to just wait and see. Uh, Peg's going to go into more detail on what's happening in, in the supplemental, which, of course, is important because that's where the A, uh, um, E12 uh, section uh, of legislative activity is. So I will yield to Peg. Thank you. Okay. Good afternoon. This is Peg Larson and John Call from the Senate Office Building in uh, the Capitol area. Right now, uh, the huge finance committee, which has uh, education, and higher ed, health, judiciary, uh, environment, uh, economic development, and trans a little teeny piece of transportation, something in it has been meeting since yesterday at one. And actually they started with uh, K-12 and um, they met yesterday from one until 11 o'clock at night. They did take a break during the day. They were gonna come back at six, then they were gonna come back at seven, then they were gonna come back at eight. Well, they finally came back at nine. So they had, were doing what is called a side-by-side. -side. And uh, this includes um, Senate file 2744, House file 2749 and House file 2749, the unofficial engrossment, as well as the second engrossment. And what has happened is staff goes through it and they compare different pieces of the House bill and the Senate bill and they put them in columns and say whether they're same, similar, or there's no comparable uh, piece in the other body. A uh, few things of interest that they both have would be the mortgage program, as they are calling it, for school districts to turn in their loans and refinance uh, their loans from MDE, and um, that would put money into the pockets for the education bills, and both bills have that. They also have the location equity index um, is now available for outside the seven county suburban area. Um, that will be funded the first year, but actually what is going to turn out to be the possible tax hike, it is up to the school board to incorporate it in the second year and thereon, and that would be a tax increase. They also, they both have language about QCOMP and uh, expanding that and a few other things, but basically the bills are pretty different. It took them yesterday and it has taken them all day today just to go through the side-by-side -side for education. Um, at this point, there's nothing to get really excited about because they have not adopted any language whatsoever. And I understand they will not adopt any language tomorrow, but maybe on Thursday they might take a little bit of testimony if they have questions. If not, they will start to adopt education language. Today they just finished with education and they're going on to health and higher ed, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, this is Peg Larson at the SOB. Hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.